the Nintendo Switch is Nintendo's flagship console for this generation. Even though it came after the flop of the Wii U, Nintendo managed to make the system great. Today, I'm going to try and find out what made the Switch so successful. is one of the key things to the Switch's success is its games. Now one of the games that launched the Switch very high in its release was of course Breath of the Wild. Now The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was a massive game. It won Game of the Year 2017 which is like very good and most people often consider it to be their favourite Zelda game. I could go on further about what other games there are and I can even expand how great Breath of the Wild is but I'm sure you've already heard everyone talk about that. So I'm just going to tell you Nintendo's release schedules for the first year of the Switch. Now what Nintendo tried to do for the first year of the Switch was try and get a big game out nearly every month. And the graph I'm reading off here is terrible. Now looking at that game timeline, you can see Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out about a month after the Switch released. Then later down the year came ARMS, Splatoon 2, Skyrim, and then in the holidays came Odyssey. So, with all of these big smash hit games releasing, it got a lot of people talking. And all of those people who have heard people talking about it, wanting to experience it, had to go buy a Switch to obviously play the games. Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey are considered some of their best games in their respective franchises. So a lot of people really didn't want to miss out on all these good new games on the Switch. The second reason to why I think the Switch has been so massively successful is because of its gimmick. Now gimmicks can be bad if they go like way too far, but the Switch hasn't really done that. So the Switch's gimmick is basically being a hybrid console. A hybrid console is basically being able to be a handheld console and then easily switch to being a TV console. It's pretty simple and it works really effective. And you can see a lot of people in the gaming industry with cloud streaming services now. I guess you could also count the Joy-Cons as another gimmick. Being able to simply just slide off and be used as a controller just like this is pretty good. It means with one Switch, instead of just getting one controller, you kind of get two, which usually with other consoles, you've got to pay for a second one. I really think the gimmicks captured people's attention though. I mean, we haven't really seen a hybrid console before, and we haven't really seen a controller like the Joy-Cons. I'm not really sure to count this reason, but I'm just gonna count it anyway, and that is marketing. Now, with the Wii U, the marketing was just stupid. Hi, buddy, popcorn, that's a thing. It was painful to watch, and it just did not work at all. With the Switch, however, you can see in its ads, it's just a bunch of people playing and enjoying their game. No stupid talk, just having fun. Which really is what you want out of a gaming console. You want to be able to enjoy, have fun, have fun with your friends. Thank you. 